Bankalı. Yeah. Got a big one. What's in there, honey? Do you know? And I think it's a book. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at that camera, <laughs> we're so weird. It's okay, they're nice, <laughs> they like us. So we are finally going to finish up this entertainment system once and for all today so that we can actually start using the family room that we haven't had for like three some years. So first- That's, that's not true. We had the, the camper. We had the camper. It's full fledged eating area, living room area. Really? It was, no, it was awful. Okay. Yeah, that was not full fledged. <laughs> and there was that black futon in the back there that none of us could all fit on. So. We all four fit, but uh, <laughs> when two to three got off and Aaron got on there, nobody still fit. fit. We're going to put um, this, like, do you call that beadboard? That's not uh, it's a not beadboard, beadboard but it's just- It, it kind of looks like beadboard. Yeah, it's tongue and groove with the design of beadboard. It's actually real wood. It's not particle board or press board into that. It's actually nice, so. Help you out, buddy. Okay, let me dust you off a little bit. Oh my goodness. He's so old. I know he's so old. We love you, Chucky. You're a good boy, okay? We'll clean you up. It's very hard to get shots of uh, Chuck because he's uh, pretty camera shy. But he's the sweetest old dog ever. He wants to be next to Josh so much that he has no problem just laying there and getting showered with sawdust. Plus he's, oh, he's blind and deaf and has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he's the best. Bottom row is done, so the next step we're gonna go ahead and uh, install these sides. We're gonna put the Santa plywood down here. We're actually gonna have this butt up tight to that, and uh, it's gonna come on up. And I may have a gap on here, depends how good I get it. So I'm gonna put this in next, but to cover that gap up, the top row right here is gonna come up on top and slam tight to the side, so you shouldn't have any gaps anywhere. That's why I did the back row first, going to the ply, and then going to this top portion right here of this same style wood is. My plan is to pretty much alleviate any cracks or crevices you may see if I do it that way. That's just the way I'm thinking about it. Hopefully it works. This is why we get nothing done. Are we going to finish the entertainment system today or 
Or are you just planning on singing too and petting your turkeys all day, Josh? Can I bring her in bed with me or no? Oh. Look at her. Oh, she's fat. She loves it. You're the turkey whisperer. Way too long. Yeah, we, opt, we went to Lowe's the other day and we completely opted out of buying new kings. We knew we had some left over. Do you think it's good? My boy, we got water in there. Oh, uh, no, it's not. I mean, look how sealed up this thing is. Oh, uh, that was brand new in there, girl. I told you. Yeah, it'll work. So you're going to keep, you got two sides left to go and I'm just going to knock the staining out, right? Pretty much. We're extremely low on the speedboard stuff. I have. Three sticks left. I gotta do both sides. Well, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's gonna happen pretty much with perfection. See, really? I just, yes, I haven't messed, messed any cuts up yet. Okay? And, I've, and I calculated yesterday with a calculator yeah. at Lowe's and a piece of paper. Yeah. How much I need? Okay, now, Josh. We'll I, can see. I can always count on you, Josh. I gotta go put a tank top on. It's about to get sweaty Betty up in her. Oof. I thought you guys staying back, you serious? My <laughs> dad, I can't, I can't reach back there. I gotta get all the way in. You wear my, my old Ennis shirt. Oh, am I? You are, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Foul, dude. Josh, a safe attitude is everything, okay, Josh? Back shirt says. <laughs> Looks good, right? Looks great. Who would've thought that a uh, sanded plot would look great like that? Looks good. can't tell, but we'll, we'll get closer. How you feeling? I feel good. This yeah. is gonna be the hard. This is gonna be the hardest part. Like that, the back. How deep it is back there. The short, stubby little arms can get back there, can they? You know, Josh. Yeah, We're watching this stain go on, we're realizing that it's not sitting right with us. So we're not quite sure what we're gonna do yet. If we hate it, we're gonna paint it red. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> That's them, they're here, the couch. Yeah, and uh, the, no signal out here, so we're actually flashing a light at them. You excited? <laughs> they're, they're all the way down by the barn, so I don't, here oh, come. here they come, they're turning up. So how excited are you? Extremely. This is monumental. The only thing about it is my two stands not done yet. Um, Ellie, are you so excited to have a couch? Yes. What's the first thing you're gonna do with the couch? Um, 
not jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. I lick that answer. Yes. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> so our couch is now put in place and we got Carter over there wrapped in the blanket, his new favorite spot. Living the dream. Yes. Let's get back to work and we need to get this thing banged out and done. Okay. Josh finished up drilling the holes and cutting the boards for the shelves. We got everything stained, let it dry, threw some Christmas pillows out on the couch because that's all we've got right now. In all reality, it's just some furniture and pillows, but for us, it's a place in the house where we can all come together and enjoy the fire in the wood stove and the view out the windows while we sit back and laugh remembering all of the times that we longed to be able to do this. It feels like just yesterday that we were spending cold days and long nights building the house and then heading back to the RV. This has been a long time coming. In this moment is the perfect reminder that we made it. We set a goal to build our own home, we pushed through the hard to get to the great and reach the goal of building our own house and turning it into our home. So cozy. It's nice. <laughs> I enjoy it. So even though we aren't tied into cable TV, it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that we can't screen, stream movies through our wireless router or... Yeah, we've got that through our cell phone company. Yes, and we can also watch DVDs if we want to have... A yep. family movie night. Some of you guys have sent us some boxes of DVDs, which has been a lot awesome. of fun. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yep. Being off grid doesn't mean that you have to live a pioneer lifestyle. Our house is relatively normal. It's that's no, it's one hundred percent normal. Yeah. We're front solar, and uh, we have a wireless router, so we're living life to the fullest. We are. So this is my issue right here. I make coffee first thing in the morning for me and Aaron, and it's nothing but the norm having coffee with Chuck. <laughs> you, you guys hear that snoring? I deal with that all night long. He's so cozy It rumbles though. my eardrums. He even has his princess blanket. <laughs> it's clean, I promise. Stretching? <laughs> he's having a seizure, what do you think? He's not, he's stretching, Josh. You give Chucky such a hard time. He's tired and old, right, Chucky? Tell Daddy you promised to stay clean. He's just tired, Josh, he's old. Mm -hmm. 